Hi, I'm Erin Myers from Spiral Spine. Today I'm talking about a recent study that came out showing that three lifestyle factors, classical ballet training, low BMI, and braces or orthodontics on your teeth can all affect getting scoliosis. So today we're going to talk about orthodontics or braces on your teeth. Most people are extremely shocked that this and scoliosis are related. So a few different factors relating to that, and my theory at least on this. So let's talk about the first one, malocclusion. Really big word for meaning that your jaw is not quite in a perfect position. So um, when your jaw is not quite in a perfect position, your spine can be straight. When you start to fix that jaw to a more perfect position, your spine then takes the form of scoliosis. So it, all, it, it switches, something's off, something's straight. Now we just made something straight and then something went off. So that's malocclusion. The second thing is when you get braces, um, it oftentimes affects C1 or your top vertebra. And in this day and age, most people don't just get braces on their teeth. They get other things. They get rubber bands. They get headgear, which I wore for three years when I was younger. They get a bionator. They get palate expanders. All these things are going to affect C1. So when C1 changes, we know that your sacrum can also change because your sacrum and your C1 mimic each other. So if your C1 shifts slightly, your sacrum is going to shift slightly as well. Well, what lives between C1 and your sacrum? The rest of your whole spine. So then it's, your spine is going to snake its way to match a twisted C1 and a twisted sacrum. So those two things are, are, are kind of how braces really affect getting scoliosis. So let's combine the three factors together. So we have classical ballet training where we're taught to twist our spine or, and, and put it in a position that's not anatomically how it's supposed to be. We have low body mass index that's going to really mess with our hormones and delaying the time that we actually get our first period. And then we have braces that's going to affect our malocclusion and it's going to affect C1, which sacrum is going to affect as well. So the interesting thing about this study is that all three of those pieces oftentimes happen at the same time. That's me. This is my story. I was in classical ballet school. I had braces for three years and had headgear, and I was really thin. And you know, interestingly, this is the story of a lot of my scoliosis clients. So um, this, this research was fascinating to me because I've been finding, I've been studying all this information, and I had come to these three conclusions on my own. And now a study shows that they are all related and they are all going to affect scoliosis. This is really inform important information, everyone. So please, if you have scoliosis, share this information with other people that have these three lifestyle factors. Um, and share them with your classical ballet school. Share them with other people and other parents of kids that have orthodontics. Share them with other girls that are thin. Maybe we can affect uh, the amount of scoliosis cases that, affect, that, that happen in the world. That would be pretty awesome if we could have less scully. All right, guys, check out my blog at spiralspine.com. Okay, have a good day. Bye.